Mimi arusi yangu pia itakuwa private car ya Kote. Kote ilikuwa private. Eh hey, ile. Ile ni watu wanakuja na chopa bro. <laughs> wana set the uh, wana set the bar too high for us. Sisi bwana hata tukifanya arusi sasa hizi itakuwa shadows tuju sasa we. Hello guys this is Mr a lot more your senior Udaku reporter and of course a lot more is coming Nico Maino Flani Niki Cheki Maino ni garden estate mmekuja kupiga story na mzee mzima anaitwa Faustin Don ama ukipenda ile jina kwa mtandao inatembea sana ni baba Talisha because this guy has been trending for the first few days akimekuwa bullied watu wamewekwa ndani mambo tu mingi sana kuja mzee takuwa nikipiga story na amepiga look mzee unaona aje ah, ah, ah. tulia hapo tupige look tuanze pale kwa kiatu mzee jamaa amevalia vizuri kabisa kiatu ni ya bei troza ni safi nani anaosha hizi nguo <laughs> wale juu jamaa kwa smart kabisa mzee ah una focus nao kwa kitu eh baada ya kitu sijui kana itangwa aje tamuuliza so inakuwa inakuwaje inakuwaje mzee <laughs> iko fresh bro unajua mimi nikiwa na wewe hakuna interview unapenda kama yako because wewe ni mzee wewe ubonga nikikuuliza swali moja unaongea 4 minutes nikiuliza ingine unaongea 20 minutes so sinanga kazi mingi huko aje iko poa bro eh poa kidogo tu si sana nimekuwa msiki kidogo eh, eh, but niko fresh yeah Mungu anasaidia mtoto akoje eh mtu yupi amekuwa msiki but saika kwa poa kanafanya exam kanafaa kufunga on, uh, on Wednesday tunafaa twende huko mambo ya CBC kidogo na wazazi tuliambiwa twende kaa tumevaa kama mijikera sijui nitatoa hapa costumes <laughs> CBC <laughs> CBC bro unalipa school fees lakini wewe bado unafundisha mtoto nyumbani yeah. hey. Ana basi juu kuna sekta moja ile sikia tu anaanua sije target ana nini na kuambiwa naambiwa hata kwa report unaambiwa patia wanafunzi pesa peleke shuleni <laughs> but kakopoa eh she has really improved come on my recent videos on TikTok and everywhere she come kwa ka big girl ya yeah? kako ni ka big girl too actually nimeona anaimba kwa TikTok Ah huyo sahi bro ana dance vibaya sana anaimba. Unajua si stanga alikama around very uh, like ilikuwa um, last month hivi. So imekuwa imekuwa at least kama ipata ile unajua ni devs jo amekuwa akishina sisi maboy. So sahi si stanga vla kwa around at least ana na girl child ako hapo. So sahi wanafanya vitu mingi sana yeah? because most of the time wako na yeye mimi na kuanga msao kutafuta tafuta one two three huko nje eh ajabu wanaume kaa kwa nyumba kama bulb pia ni shida bro kaa kwa nyumba kama bulb huyo <laughs> <laughs> i think ameambukizwa na na, na obi dandela <laughs> zini ukweli bro as men we are supposed to go out and look you know uh, and then to kuja to provide yeah so that is what we do in Nairobi bro na vile maisha imekuwa ngumu sasa hata askari imepanda bay ban hata chumvi bro ile na juzi wame announce bana walio tutaumia chakula <laughs> walio sasa ndio wanateseka juunga iko juu askari ndio hiyo hata kuku nilisikia mahai pili panda bay kuku zilikata pia walio wanaumia tutaumia bro <laughs> yeah so uh, by the way uh, i have, have been songa kibeli kidogo i've been having this one question nimekuwa nikitaka kukuuliza there is this guy anaitangwa he was my lecturer kitambo sikumbuki jina yake asha nifunza like uh, for one week sikumbuki jina yake ule jamaa alikuwa kwa kibana itangwaje the, the the ule legend producer nikikumbuka jina nitakwambia that guy uh, alipata mtoto na bibi yake then unfortunately bibi yake akaenda kuwa na Mungu may her soul rest in peace Same, like you guys share a similar story huwa anajirifa kama mom daddy would you call yourself a mom daddy like when your mom na when your dad at the same time ama kwa nyumbani kuna mtu maybe anakusaidia apart from your sister mimi tuseme okay mostly wanaume wako na watu huyu ukuanga hivyo Ted Josiah Ted Josiah that's the guy i'm talking about yeah yeah so watu kwa umebaki na umebaki na mtu hii na wewe ni mwanaume of course uta play both roles yeah that's why anaitonga mom dad ibutuka hizo unaona but miss jai kuwa hivyo like sijai address hivyo but eh, ni responsibility what na take to see what unajua eh, what tunapoteza nga um, our loved ones in different ways ya yeah? eh, kuna mwingine anaweza kwa kwa labor ward anazam tu hivi anakufia hapo na mwanaume anabaki na mtu hii 
anaanza kumlea vitu kama hizo kuna nyingine through accidents kuna nyingine through mysterious ways kuna mwingine tu normal eh amekuwa msiki kidogo then aka kakufu unaona so kuna wanaume wana take up that responsibility na kuna wale wengine wanakuwa kimboi ya wanatoroka pia wanachatua tu hiyo unaona anakuwa kipchoge eh, kipchoge so for me I'll, because mi kwa jani atalisha kuna watu wengi pia wamekuwa wamekuwa kwa jani bro eh kuna wengine hata waonekani bro yeah eh, you know through crazy mtu hii amekuwa kienda therapy aki aki hizi mambo vitu mingi hapo pia hata kuhusia kiendio therapy yenyewe kuna watu mfanyuko therapy unaona so hao watu wote wamekuwa through hii jani ya crazy mtu hii si tu mimi peke yangu unaona basa mimi kama father figure niko pale pia mimi ni kama mimi ndio mzazi juma dhaka yuko sahi i guess kuna leona video fulani juzi juzi alikuwa akiita mama yake jo aliona kwa kwa picha hapo akaanza anamjua alikuwa anamuitanga milika kwa himuita mam jo alikuwa na most of the time nilikuwa namuitanga milka tu so alikuwa namuita milka na yeye milka jo alikuwa ameza kuniita be so that me alikuwa ananitanga be kitambu unaona so mimi response mimi zizi okay ni poa ku address hivyo pia but um, i guess mimi nafanya tu kitu inafaifanyika tu jo hiyo yeah in responsibility kwa umezalisha dem mahali lazima tu take care of mtu um, yeah. so just my responsibility as a dad vile mama aka yuko i have to take that troll na pia as feel ile kuna kitu ana miss kwa maisha yep finally uh, juzi your channel was hacked uli manage kuipata eh hey, bana we content creators tunateseka <laughs> yeah my my channel was hacked actually two times yeah uh, the first time ili hakiwa nikaka like uh, around four days ikarudi then ikaka another five days actually ili hakiwa nikikuwa live <laughs> ilikuwa live ya TikTok eh, ilikuwa usiku so ilikuwa hacked then eh, nika unajua the moment unajaribu kuingia actually ilikuwa hata kupost video kwa YouTube eh najaribu kuingia na niambia at, at error card ile page not found so we mimi nika nika maji kaja kwa tumbo kidogo ya so yeah it was hacked but then uh, i managed to recover it uh, kuna jamali msaidia tukai recover tuka akaongelesha wasa wa YouTube akairudisha dho kuna video nilikuwa nimepost latest hai kurudi bye <laughs> mahakas ni ni wale kingizi links zinakwanga kwa wase mkwe unajua mko very eager kupata numbers kwa social media ya yeah? YouTube TikTok eh, Instagram Facebook hizo zote wasa wanataka kwa na followers sijui ma views ma likes vitu kai hizo ya yeah? Yeah so be very careful to touch any link ama ama tuseme una download like mimi eh, boy mimi uka na eh alikuwa na download vitu za filimora huko ndio penye hii virus ilikuja unajua hackers wanaweza tuma tu kwa hiyo folder ku, ku download hii software wanaweza tumanisha hapo ndani virus na hiyo virus ndina wanatumia ku kuhack account yako that is what happens yeah ama unaweza kuna download skin ya kuweka kwa desktop na anatumia hiyo kwa hiyo skin ndo kuna kwa ngoto virus hizo ni wanapita inapiga lap yako bro wewe jamaa ana take over kila kitu actually mimi account zote zilikuwa active kwa lap yangu zote zilikuwa hacked like si za uju za ig si yake kwa nina facebook ni, eh, ni youtube tu peke yake So ilibidi nimebadilisha wifi ni zangu hizo manini nilipiga safari kwa makani chinchia nikakuja lap yangu nika reformat yote so at least hii iko safe kidogo eh, we are just praying tena wasirudie ku hack because yeah, but um, we are back at least nilipost video ingine juzi juzi the, the first video tumekaa one month bila ku post anything bro So sunaelewa mtu amezoea kwa kioko kila day takao tunaona video alafu unapotea wiki mzii eh hey bro waje hapo ndio pia revenue ilikuwa inatoka pale kidogo ya kulipa rent hivi sasa hii maziwa tupati jule jamaa alienda na do zangu zote <laughs> oh pesa ilienda eh hey, sali so walienda hadi kwa adsense bro wanabadilisha kila detail so revenue yangu ya every month bro imeenda hivyo so for the past like sija sija earn kwa youtube for the past like uh, two months ama three two for the past two months ya kwani an ya juali ba wali balisha hizo ni sahi tena hata siwezi badilisha kwanza ni goja hadi 21 days zisha ndo ni change yeah so even ndio ah ndio alinikuta kidogo huko pia yeah mm. talisha baba talisha ako na harusi mimi sijalikwa sija, sija, <laughs> si, 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 sijui inafanyika na nani mzee meamua kukuwa private person kabisa <laughs> 
Harusi, harusi tunayo. <laughs> eh, hey, harusi. After, after Kote amefanya nyinyi wote mnataka kufanya sasa. Wea, akotaka kutualika. Huko TikTok watu walileta shida bro. Yeah. The only TikTokers invited kwa harusi ya Kote. Eh, asa tu kualikwa. But unajua harusi ni yake si yetu. Eh, yeah, sasa sisi tu, tuenda harusi na tujuani. Unajua harusi unaendaka ka... miki yoko, mimi sizi kuja harusi yako na mimi unijui sikujui. Eh si harusi za tuizi sema aluyo unajua aluyo tunaenda tu harusi zote ha But anyway yeah harusi harusi eh hey, harusi mnaniombea mambo mzuri Like hey, 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 harusi tunasikia unafanya harusi unaifanya na nani kwanza don <laughs> Unafanya wedding na nani mzee We huko huko TikTok wananiambia nafaa kufanya harusi bro eh, mimi bado sina venue lakini nilipata mtu kuni kuninulia kununua kununua gowns <laughs> gown na suti la suti hadi kuna wa transport kuna wa chakula kuna wa location yani mimi harusi ni mimi tu kujipeleka na bibi harusi so tunagojea bibi harusi bado i confirm wacha eh hey bro si nakwambia ukweli bibi harusi nagojea kwanza kuje eh, bibi harusi akikuja hivi mimi harusi yangu pia itakuwa private car ya kote kwa hiyo ilikuwa private. Hey, ile. Ile ni watu wanakuja na chopa bro. <laughs> wana set the uh, wana set the bar too high for us. Sisi bwana hata tukifanya harusi sasa hizi tutakuwa shadow studio sasa we. Tulizama ilikuwa harusi of the year. But hapa tusonge kidogo eh. Yeah, yeah. Anasema tusonge kidogo huu yeah. director. Yeah. But congratulations to them. At least they did something, you know. At least it was official, yeah. Isi wengine huku nje ni ku come we stay. Mnakaa na mtu miezi kidogo mnaachana. Unasonga mbele. So at least mimi by the way nikibarikiwa na mtu nitafanya harusi na. So bado mtu bado. Nitawa invite eh, mtu bado. Watu wa TikTok. Ni, 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 watu ni accusation tu mara wao anabenta, mara wao trisha, mara wao kunjini, mara wako tu kila mahali au wote wanataka yani, au faiku na best friend like au faiku kuwa na tuseme best dem yani ukioneka best dem yote ni dem yako bro ufai kupiga hata picha na dem ufai kuonekana na dem like unashindwa bro yani wewe si mtu like i really have a problem with kenyans the way they think unajua kuna wasingeno na kuanga na village mentality yeah? whereby eh, kioka kionekana na mse already sasa ameanza ku date ule mseju sasa hujai kuwa na hujai kuwa na dem unaona so ila kuanga hivyo maze but it's not always like that ikuangi to ati huu kila mse umekuwa na yeye oh sasa wewe ni dem yako oh mmefanya this and that ya yeah? we should change the way you think about ya yeah? kuna wasi wana kuanga tu mabishti hivyo tu nothing no no nothing yani hakuna kitu ni mabishti tu ya yeah? mm. so ukiwa okay, ipata mtu babati utamleta kwa mtandao ama itakuwa tu private we ndio akuje aanze kumtusi huko kwambie <laughs> zimu rembo huko 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 social media bro i think tiktok ni platform ya matusi hey, sai bro hey mi, 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 bro akunanga like ushaona ushaona eh hey, bro mimi hata mimi siezani <laughs> tiktok sai siezani waja tu post video za kudance tu natalisha ni nini nini Unless mwenye atake tu but ai aiko safe bana eh unajua ukimintroduce huko social media so vile mambo anafanyika sasa hii couple so online vile mambo so mimi bana eh, unless dim yangu atake maybe kuja kwa social media space mwenye eh? but eh miss is mu introduce kwa social media that is akikua siwezi because it's not a safe place sai okay ilikuwa a safe place lakini sasa hii Matusi kwa left right bro. Yeah, so unajua kuna mtu anakuanga perfect. That's why inakuanga beauty na kuanga le mwenye ana, anaona eh. So like sasa so mimi kuanga naweza kuwa mrembo kwa umati si mrembo. So acha baki tu kwe tu huko tu eh. But, mimi sitaki mambo ya baadaye waanze kuniita oh what happened? What sijui ni nini nini? Mliachana tena. Unajua kileta mtu wako kwa social media hata mkaangi sana. Wanangojanga sasa mwachana. Una hey, once umemleta wanagoja sasa wasikia kuachana. Eh, hey. but unasema beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. Yeah. So bro, uh, why do you think uh, because you mentioned about Matusi. 
kwanza juzi urotusua vibaya sana pale tiktok Sijui you have a beef with nyako akakwambia sijui mtoto wake ni mcute kukushinda vitu tu mingi sana nini mnaulizana bro <laughs> nyako nyako sayara tulitu <laughs> nyako by the way eh, eh, nyako nilikuja kumjua ilikuwa tu recently ya eh? yeah, like a month ago tiktok too because unajua tu tiktok sayu huku ni screen record kitu na kutumanisha kila mahali Uh, so i guess nilikutana na screen recording ya nyako mahali akiongea watu alikuwa anaongea because ni zake zimekuwa viral everywhere vile alikuwa anaongea unaona eh? but then uh, yeah ili ni ili ni ili ni kasirisha kidogo haja mimi ujam eh mimi ujam mimi uko na mtu asira kidogo ya so mimi ujam but then uh, mi pia ulet go haraka sana ya yeah? once because mr king bro kuna kitu mzuri kama peace of mind ya yeah? that is one thing we have to know ya yeah? kuna kitu mzuri sana kama peace of mind so um, nilioni hiyo video nikankasirisha what i did ni alisema al, kuna vitu zenye alisema zenye kunifurahisha because ukiona mtu akiongelea kitu ina um, inafanya inakulipanga bills zako ati sio kitu sio job unaona pia unaweza jam unaona eh? like hizi vitu unafanya si kazi unaona so i kun furahisha kabisa and i had to react the way i reacted and si kuongea actually ni post two video mimi niliduet na nika eh, nikashindwa rada acha na tuna maisha yangu unaona that is what i said later tukaka some few days okay alikuwa anaongelea kila mse pale anatoka kuuya anaenda kwa mwingine anaenda kwa mwingine matusi left right yeah that is what happened and um, luckily after a few days eh, tulienda kwa life fulani hapa kaletwa akakuja kuomba msamaha because i realize kitu alifanya ilikuwa mistake ya yeah? so i come down na akapologize yeah? na mimi nika accept because me i have no usikwangi ni ile room ya hatred because uki ukichukia msee wendi unakuangana unakuangana burden eh learn to forgive easily because maze tomorrow is never promised you know yeah so mimi nili nilimforgive tu na ikaisha hivyo na nikamu advise tu because you know bro is social media acha nikushow my fans are kwangu wa wengine wazuri pia sometimes my fans wanataka ngao kuona wasako sana sana eh the same same my fans ndo wanataka one downfall yako eh ukienda juu bado utakupraise na bado pia ukienda chini pia bado atakuwa tu pale unaona eh the same same fans ndo wamefanya nyako amekuwa amekuwa na miss nyako amekuwa nao saa hiyo unaona eh sasa kuna miss kubwa sana unaona but the same same people wanakwaka pale comment section ndo wana inside unaona wanamwaga bado mafuta bro wanaona huu madhe maybe yako na shida fulani eh maybe hayuko hayuko poor na mental health yake unaona eh alafu bado the same same girls wako pale oh sijui nini oh wewe endelea madhe ndo unaona bado hii ni kidonda bado wanaongeza kuidungalia dungelia hapo unaona so hiyo kitu madhe haija hiyo kitu ndi ime, ime nisemeje like ime ime imemwaribia sana but say i'm glad i'm say askizi the negative comments unaona eh because say watu walikuwa wanaenda ngadi kwa comment section yake wanaenda hadi kwa inbox yake wanaenda kuchukua vitu kwa msi fulani mahali wanakuja wanamtumia so unapata pia na wasikiza sana eh anasikiza sana maheta so wale wasio namletea unajua kuna kitu mbaya kaka kusikiza mtu mwenye yani kuletea kitu from kwa mse mwenye upendi That is one of the worst thing unaweza like mimi ningekuwa na listen to mostly from haters so i bro me ara singekuwa unaona singekuwa place niko but because in the stop kusikiza vitu za ma haters because acha ni kushow haters are attacking ukwe uendelee wa kuona uko hapo the moment wanaona nyaka amefurahi tena mbona amefurahi the moment tena nyako amaanza kukasirika tena mbona amekasirika so wanataka tu wa, waone the bad side of her wote kuona the good side of her yeah? so mimi ni advise mother ache ku, kuangalia the, the negative part of you know uh, situation sunona ajaribu kuangalia the positive side of the situation na bado watu watampenda hakuna mtu anapendanga msiju amekuwa the bad guy ama the you know na eh? be a good person and then people just, just love you for free you know na, na you know when you do good always goodness was in akufollow eh? yeah so i guess hiyo hiyo nili shanga ju spending ku hold grudges na see because of to amefanya maybe ali, ilikuwa into the moment but hiyo um, tuliachana nayo then yeah my haters me now this me i can't tell the place on afa ku because you know sometimes unakuja social media unatupa pale comment na ujio comment ta maze kuna watu wengi view comments unaona eh? So mtu jo amepata bundles kidogo ako na simu ama ako kwa free wifi mahali anakutusi wewe kioko sijui ni 
wewe ni samaki wewe sijui ni nini unaona anasikia poa sana anajipiga kifua lakini hawezi jua wewe mental health yake kwa aje sasa hiyo so sasa hii mimi nilisema hakuna mtu size party mtu yote room ya kumesi na mental health yangu that is the thing yeah so at the moment ukiona sasa hii nimeona wanasema nimeona kidogo unapikiwa vizuri napika vizuri eh napikiwa vizuri <laughs> yeah napikiwa vizuri eh niko na peace of mind na at least sisi complain because bro kuna watu wengi wanatamani kuwa penye niko na wako so eh, yeah me just thank god uko na peace of mind kila kitu na flow tu vizuri yeah so mahetas mahetas i mean lu address huko nikamwambia mazi if you want to comment something negative about me not on my page because i'll find you na kuna mmoja sasa hii abeka kwa sale sana. Yeah, I was coming to that. Yeah, yeah. To your story. Eh uh, huyo demo alikuja ilikuwa hiyo time flani ni the late baba Monali pass na mtoi wake na the family. Yeah. So huyo demo akakuja. Kuna video tu yangu tulikuwa tumefanya Natalisha tu kwa hao tu unaona eh. Ile tu kujibamba kwanza tulikuwa tumeka ngoma kikuyu unaona. Na huyo demo akakuja ku post pale at the hope uh, when your next na ukikufa usiache mtoto wako. So I was like you. Na hiyo video hiyo comment niliona niki kwa Mombasa time flan tumekuwa na event Mombasa. So I was coming back. It was the very day I was coming back to Nairobi. So like naona wasi wengi wamini tag kwa hiyo ni wanaambi huyo demo atende apologies kwa baba T hiyo si kitu pole fanya kwa hiyo comment section. Sasa mimi nashindwa aje. So hiyo comment imeka up like two weeks huyo demo kwa hii delete. Nilienda pale nikapata comments kama 70 seven comments eh, replies ziko under comment yake lakini baada ya delete ah mimi nikaenda pale nika nikaidwet tu pale hivi nikaeka tu video na nikaachia tu hapo mazi ili disturb actually nitoka Mombasa hiyo time nilifika home kan medoz tu jo nilikuwa so at broken so kuna bishta wangu fulani wa serikali tu hapo tu hivi kakuja kaniambia hii na shida huyu acha tutafute kesho sasa alita kesho eh kesho like immediately alitafutwa na aka saya ameka ameka huko karibu ni one month yeah so late after mishikwa ikakuja eh, walimwacha simu hapo so akakuja akaanza kuni text alikuwa ananipigia simu mimi sikuwa nashika simu zake unaona she was not apologetic about it yeah? because in the first place come realize ni kitu ambao ulikuwa umefanya hizo comments zote na bodo pia alikuwa bado anajibizana na wasee pale chini kumaanisha bado alikuwa happy about kitu alikuwa amepost unaona eh? alikuwa ame comment pale unaona So inakuwaje sasa hii ilikuwa atanajoka na niambia ata was just joking I was just commenting eh Come here just commenting that is the worst thing hata mimi siwezi wishia my head at akufe na watu wake that is the worst thing they say like that is one of the worst thing unaweza wish hata heta waka piti unaona like atukufe like u kufa na ukufa na watu wako unaona So eh, it was just like to teach others a lesson Yaani mtu mwingine asiye jaribu kufanya miambo ya social so, social media bullying cyber bullying hizo ziishe tu bana eh? because it's not good kuna watu wengine najua kuna watu wengine wako strong ka mimi mtu sasa hii una mtusi kidogo hivi anaenda anachukua kamba na jinyonga na meza matembe anakufa mwingine anaanza kutumia madawa kwa abuse madawa so it's not good it's not good to cyber bully somebody to body shame somebody to comment bad things if you don't have anything good to tell somebody or to comment on a post you you are allowed to leave you know si lazima comment na hata si lazima na pia kama content huu mtaikufurahishi pia kama kuna wengine wasema anga una bowl sio una unaudhi kama mtu anakuudhi unafanya ni kwa nia yake bado adu unakuja comment what you have to do is just to block that person restrict that account so that you should never see something like that again yeah because wale watu wengine wako pale 2000 200 and something 300 and something k si wajinga kuna reason waliku follow pale because this was something different in you yeah so mimi nimeweka pale akaikai kidogo because she's not still remorseful and today yeah eh bado alijaribu kutumia mbinu zingine kuhonga ni nini ni, lakini bado eh mkono wa kono serikali ni mrefu pia ya so nilimwachuka na nasema uh, imagine ako na mtu hii hadi na mtu wake kwa 8 months ya so ako like eh, you... same tu ongea na serikali imwachilia sasa eh, sasa ana, ananiambia ati i have a kid also sijui ni nini nikamwambia all kwani huyu mtoto wangu mwenye kuna unaambia hivyo kwani yeye pia si mtoto ama mi pia si mzazi kawe unaona So ali aliongeongea vitu mingi hapo nikamwambia uh, mimi hata sitaki pesa because if I was to kwenda we ya pesa like twende kwa koti ni nini unelove lenizi na kuanga huko hata angeweza nonona 
so mimi kitu najaribu tu kumfundisha ni asiye ingia tena social media unajua mostly my haters ni madem madem ni my haters bro kiana social media madem ndo wanatusi wa, si, wanaume kidogo sana unapata ngao wame hate mse bro but madem kwa social media bro ni mabuli si yani madem enda enda tu kwa comment section tu malipopote hmm? Ada enda tu sahi kwa history ya Ajib na Josh. Enda tu angalie. Sa inge kuwa dem, dem amefanya kitu mbaya bro. Inge kuwa sahi for example mimi dem yangu sahi. Maybe mindo nilimkosi ya kabisa unona. Sa inge kuwa dem yangu akenda kuongea mahali bro. Dem yangu iya na makosa unona hiko po eh. But because kuna mwanaume mahali anakuja kuja express sahi. Unatusiwa badu unona eh. So unelewa vile sasa sahi, sahi vile vitu zinakuanga kwa current generation vile iko ya so maze mi ilikuwa tu ilikuwa tu like a lesson eh but uh, i guess nifa kwenda kumuona leo i guess sama ni but ni venye niko na matanga fulani there's a friend of mine ali lost a brother anaitwa Chris Kirubi the brother ali alikufa ilikuwa last week ya yeah? so we are going to bury the brother tomorrow uko side the nakuru i guess to meet na wasingine pia atakuwa huko and uh, yeah so i, I guess maybe this the e what to kifungua sisi tutamwachilia ende nyumbani at least ataambia wengine vile kulikuwa na aambie wengine pia asijaribu kufanya vitu kama hizo because kuna wasingine bro umeona social bro mabulis wanafanya ngoa sawa naenda crazy bro eh hapa kwa social media ni umeona kuna wasingine wamepita hizo stuff ya yeah? yeah ya mwisho kabisa ndio tumalize ningependa kuuliza mostly wakati unakuwa cyber bully damu unatusiwa pale online unakuwa trolled it all become it all comes because of your baby talisha Have you ever thought of maybe kumtoa online kabisa kum keep away from social media they are grow to kivyake na we grow online kivyako have, have you ever had that thought uh, bana because if it's not social media kuna mtangejua talisha bro talisha sasa hii unatembea na talisha ko noticed everywhere yeah? so because that is one of the craziest comment ni za pata mahali atigutoi mtu hii social media because kuna kuna watu wengi sana kwa social media it's not only it's not only talisha ya yeah? and uh, a bully bully ni bully tu bro whether mtu hii ako whether mtu hii ayuko bully ni bully tu that is one thing you have to ya yeah? if you hate baba talisha imagine there's nothing itaifanya itai change a fact that hata nikidelete account yangu bado utani unaona watu wanakufa bro na bado wanaongelewa Eh hey, mtu amekufa lakini bado anaongelewa na tusiwa bado sasa awe ni we mwenye ati ume, umefanya sijui umetoa mtu fulani ndio kitu gani sifanyiko unaona ya so mimi I, I don't think so bro um, a bully is just a bully and uh, there's nothing in the change bully acha kubuli mtu kama hiyo ndio kazi yake unaona eh so mimi talisha atazidi kuwa pale because she's a brand you know she she's a is a huyu ni miracle baby bro ni mtu mwenye amekuwa pale ku motivate kwa si wengi sana wenye wamepitia um, jani kama yake ya. mimi kuna wazazi wana ni kuna wazazi ni konsha simi yangu mazee pataanga message bro mtu yuanga alikuwa hivi na hivi but because of talisha mimi nilikuwa nime give up na story za therapy ni nini ni, ni. but after ni muona ni atalisha mimi nika keep on going unaona ya nika keep on going so eh, sahi at least mtu yuanga unaona vitu kama hizo zina kumotivate bro so mimi i think uh, talisha hizi toka social media at any time soon ni venye account yake ilikuwa kwa um, alikuwa na account ya um, TikTok alikuwa amefikisha around 20k watu wakakuja waka okay report kafungwa nikafungwa ingine tena ikafikisha around 5k ikaripotiwa so mimi nikaamua niachane nayo So say YouTube maybe YouTube nditakuwa YouTube yake God willing ikibaki kama hata haki ni kama hiyo ataendelea kuwa nayo mimi sasa nikipata mchumba mimi nifungue yangu mpya the the Lipukus family <laughs> yeah nifungue yangu mpya tuanze huko mambo yetu ya family ya talisha abaki na YouTube channel ya yetu hiyo ingine alafu maisha iendelee yeah so me talisha is just a blessed girl and she's a um, uh, mimi sijana nisema aje mazee kama uwanangu huu mtu hii alafu uko motivated kwa maisha bro you have a problem bana eh, you have a problem so she's there to stay and uh, you know kuna kwanga na ups and downs ya yeah? unajua sasa hii mtoto atakuwa mgonja kidogo nije kwa social media kuna watu wasijua aliongelea nina akakuwa msika pana ni mpango ya Mungu sometimes vitu zingine ya yeah? 
So tusibelieve sana kwa zile vitu za za nini sana. Unajua what you don't know cannot kill you bana eh? yes. But kwa unajui takuo unajui ni sumu na unakula tu. Kumaliza bana. So I, I guess uh, the support me kwa amazing pale. And uh, you know what wengi wanapenda sana Talisha kuniliko ya. Yeah? So that is the thing. That is the, th- the main the main thing. Talisha not me. Mimi niko pale kama baba Talisha. Without Talisha there's no baba. So Talisha makes baba Talisha yeah so yeah through that the at least yeah sawa sawa tukimalizia zungumza na mafans Okay this is baba Talisha kama kawaida your handsome boy home and away yeah sawa we are sorry eh bana eh bana eh so basi Mungu anafungua njia kidogo kidogo by the way in case you see me somewhere eh sasa hivi Mungu anafungua njia kidogo kidogo tuko pale optika hivi ukitaka miwani izenda pale hivi ununue miwani sunglasses ziko kena Mombasa sichome sana na jua but anyway uh, thank you so much for the love and the support and you can go and subscribe on my youtube channel you can follow me on instagram that is first in underscore don uh, baba talisha kwa facebook tiktok na malipopote youtube iko hapo malikia fostin uh, na washukuru sana kwa maombi yenu na the support mimi sina mambo mengi bibi E, b- bibi e, kishindikana nitatafutiwa na babangu. Hata <laughs> kitabu watu walikuwa wataftua mabibi hey. but nitajitaftia. Una... Mimi nasikia anga shuja yangu akikitwambia. Mimi hata sikuwa na, na sikuwa namjua. Hey. Ni nililetwa tu nikaambiwa ndio huyo mzee. Pia <laughs> mimi niletewe hivyo. Eh hey, lakini wasichana wananipenda bro. Eh hey, ningekuwa na we, ningekuwa King Solomon date kwa karibu 10. Ninge Kenya mzima ingekuwa ningekuwa father of all nations. <laughs> Sawa sawa mambo ni mengi muda ni mchache nimekuwa nikipiga story na Faustin Don amu kipenda baba Talisha for now it is a bye bye i'll see you on the next one kitu na niuma <laughs>